Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be going over each and every one of these new all-star all Pantheon players. Obviously, we do see our first Dark Matters in Zion in MJ. Now, both all four of these are Dark Matters, so there's only real two Dark Matter uh, players, but there are four cards if that does make sense. So, everybody, this whole week was saying we were gonna get Magic Johnson. You guys can see Magic Johnson there, Vince Carter, a card that's intriguing. I'm honestly more intrigued about Paul George and possibly anybody else in here. Obviously, you guys know I love the Amethyst Sean Kemp. So, Diamond Sean Kemp gets my interest a little bit. It feels I feel like Desmond Mason and Dale Ellis always come together. I, maybe that's just me. I feel like they always come together as well, but yeah, we get a lot of these new kind of. Uh, players that that go for the season lock-in so uh, th that is going to kind of be interesting to see how much close we truly are getting to that lock-in set and obviously at the beginning of the season a lot of people thought MJ and Zion would be that ultimate lock-in and in reality they're probably just the best players we're going to see in those particular sets but before we dive into each of these players if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road 250,000 subscribers. So the first card today we are going to talk about is five foot seven Spud Webb. As you guys can see, you know it's it's tough because he's only five seven. I guess he got a five nine wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere above the break. But then you look at his is is uh, you know stats: 86 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 99 three ball, 90 ball handle, 99 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. I mean, the only thing is the only way you should use this Spud Webb card honestly is is if you are just trying to have fun like if you're trying to go even in unlimited and actually win you're not probably going to use spud web but you're going to see some people in unlimited run spud web and honestly the only reason you do that is just for fun i mean he's got some decent enough badges it's just the only problem is he's five seven like i hate running five nine five ten dudes and this dude is five foot seven jump shot 22 jimmy butler's release on quick pro two sides of pro two twin i mean he's got a lot going for him but he is five foot seven now i don't know we'll see if this one is that much better i don't know the biggest difference between these two this one has 35 and two let's see what the other one has 34 and two so just one extra gold badge not gonna be a deal breaker if you're trying to get him now, obviously this one goes for the lock-in set so it's gonna be a little more expensive next card today is this ruby tim legler here it is 6'4". The good thing about it is he can't run the point guard position. 6'9", wingspan. 39 gold badges. Hot spots from everywhere. 97 three ball, 75 driving dunk. 90 speed with ball, 86 point, 90 speed acceleration, as well as a 90 lateral quickness. No showtime on the base card, it doesn't look like. Does he get showtime dunks? I don't, I don't know if those are showtime dunks either, quite honestly. Range extender, yes, steady shooter. I think this is going to be a next-gen card. I, I Just from the looks of it, has the steady shooter. No showtime on his base card. Tendencies aren't incredible. Six wise Kyle Corver's release on quick. Now Kyle Corver is the only release we've seen with his release, or Kyle Corver's the only player we have seen with that release. So that'll be interesting. Pro two size of escape. Pro six move behind the back. I'm not super super high on Tim Legler at all, to be honest with you. I think there's a lot a lot of better rubies or, or cards under 2,000 MT that are gonna be better than Tim Legler. Next card today is Amethyst Collins Sexton, a card who I'm kind of intrigued about. Six one six seven wingspan. Two Hall of Fame badges, 48 on gold. Comes with a 93 ball, 90 driving dunk, 95 speed with ball, 90 ball hit, or 95 speed, and 92 lateral quickness. Compare those stats to this pink diamond, and I don't think they're that far off. Obviously, this pink diamond is going to be a little bit better, a little well, more well-rounded, but he's not that much better. Hall of Fame, quick first step, unpluckable, gold defensive badges, gold range extender, gold showtime has good tendencies has showtime dunks has the same jump shot pro two sides of escape pro six boom on the back I'll, I'll be the first to say i think colin sexton is going to be one of the most fun current gen point guards or even next gen point guards to use now is he better than you know a guy like smush parker probably not in the grand scheme of things but just throw him in kind of those budget point guards that are all very 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 solid Next card today is Amethyst Brent Berry. Now this guy, if, if you know, you know. He's been a good budget baller for a long time. I know in 2K19, people ran his budget card. And I know in 2K21, there's going to be a lot of the same. He's an Amethyst with six Hall of Fame badges, 33 on gold, 6769 wingspan, 94 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 85 speed ball. You probably 
You might want to give him a ball handling shoe at some point. 88 speed, 88 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame, Showtime, Showtime dunks. Hall of Fame, catch and shoot, range extender. Hall, or gold unpluckable, quick first step, and good on the defensive end. They juiced Brent Berry. Like, there's no doubt about it. They juiced this card up like crazy. 95 driving dunk, good defensive tendencies. Jump shot 16 as the same release he's always had on quick. Pro 3, size of escape. Pros, I don't like his dribble sticks. I'll be the first to say that. But I like what he's working with. I don't like his dribble sticks, but I like the Hall of Fame Showtime. You give him a speed, speed with ball shoe, he's going to be just fine. He's going to be absolutely knocked down. Offensively, he's going to be incredible. Now, defensively, I think because he's 6'7 at the shooting guard position, he's definitely going to be able to hold it down. But my thing is this. How much better or how much worse is Brent Berry, let's say, than, than a shooting guard you got? Let's say like the Latrell Sprewell that came out yesterday. He is, or, or two days ago. He is not that much worse than those types of guys. So that's the thing. Brent Berry, for his budget, for his price, is going to be absolutely incredible. Next card here is Amethyst Dwight Howard. Six Hall of Fame badges, as you guys can see. 16 are in gold. The big thing is, can Dwight shoot? And he can. 52 three ball, 95 driving dunk. Can of the ball, 88 speed, 84 lateral quickness. I get it. He's got Hall of Fame showtime, some good defensive badges. But it's just going to be that inside center. Now, when you compare that Dwight to this Dwight, they're on. They're honestly basically the same card. The Pink Diamond Dwight's a little bit better, but they are really the same card. Tendencies, I'll say it. He has some of the best tendencies in the game. Dwight Howard's released on quick, but that's all he's going to give you. Good tendencies, a couple good defensive badges. Please, guys, do not run D12. Next card, Diamond Quentin Richardson. So it all comes down to his release, and that's the first thing. He's got clay on quick. Okay. Because there's been times where Quentin Richardson in 2K has one of the most broken releases in the game. 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, again, shooting guard, 13 Hall of Fame badges, 35 on gold, hot spots from everywhere, 95 three ball, and 85 driving dunk, 85 speed ball, 86 ball, and 87 speed, and an 88 ladder quickness. Again, I wish his speed speed ball was just a little bit higher, and he's a next-gen card. You see the Hall of Fame steady shooter, Hall of Fame blinders on next-gen, and you already know, he's a next-gen beast he's going to be incredible on next gen with the hall of fame blinders flexible range etc now i would say on current gen he does have hall of fame flexible i think that turns into what what i'm gonna look if that turns into um what does that turn into sniper i think which i i, I don't personally use on next gen but the thing is he's got some things going for him on current gen got some things going for him on next gen i just think the hall of fame blinders is so so overpowered that it's going to definitely help him out on next gen now the big thing is he's got clay thompson release that's a big thing like that is a big thing that he's got going for him pro three sides of escape pro four i don't i really don't like the moving crossovers at all but nonetheless he does have showtime dunks does he you can give him showtime if you want on current gen i would just say the hall of fame blinders is what really makes him on next gen what i think is going to be one of the top budget players the next card today is diamond sean kemp so the first thing we're going to look at is the badges 31 16 let's compare that to 30 and 17 so i i'm gonna i don't know what i'm gonna look and see if i can find the badge quick uh that he has because honestly he just has an extra badge added to him and i let's see is it a defensive chase down I, I don't I, i'm trying to figure out what what extra badge he has for you guys without going to the compare thing um is it quick first step i think it's a playmaking badge we'll see it's just an extra playmaking badge, post spin technician. Let's see. I, I'm sorry this is taking me longer. I could I could have just compared them. Um, downhill, post spin technician, and quick first step. It's past fake maestro. So that's the extra badge. So it doesn't truly really matter. And outside of that, they're going to be the identical same card. So 83 three ball, 97 driving dunk, 85 speed. What's up with everybody having this 85 speed ball, 86 ball, and a 90 speed, 84 lateral quickness? Hall of Fame Showtime obviously does have gold catch and shoot. You can give him range extender. Okay, Hall of Fame quick first step, brick wall, chase artist, moving truck. So it's being pretty complete on the defensive end. So this is definitely an upgrade over the Amethyst. That's why I want to compare. That's why I wanted to compare him to his Amethyst all along. So really, this Amethyst Sean Kemp is who I've loved for a long time. You guys can see 83 ball. Uh, and outside of that, they're not that much different, right? Outside of the three ball, they are a little bit different, right? The diamonds obviously a little bit better. But in my opinion, they're not that much different stat-wise. Badge-wise, that's where they are so, so different. And this diamond, Sean Kemp, is just so, so complete. Tendency-wise, absolutely incredible. Six-wise, jump shot 23, his release on quick. That's also a big thing is that it is on quick. And 
I mean, you guys know as much as I do how much I really like Sean Kemp, uh, the Amethyst card. So if this Diamond Sean Kemp is just a better version of that Amethyst card and he goes for a not super expensive, I'm going to highly recommend people get him. I definitely will highly recommend this card because my thing is this, right? This Sean Kemp probably won't go for nearly as much as this one. And that's the thing. The, the Sean Kemp's are basically identical. So just go do your thing, guys. Get this Sean Kemp uh, over the other one. If you do rock with Sean Kemp, I rock with him. If, if he fits my no money spent squad, I will definitely pick up Diamond Sean Kemp. Next card here is Pink Diamond Ray Allen. 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere around the three-point line. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for a good Ray Allen card. Now, I was expecting a better one, but hey, a Pink Diamond Ray Ray we can make him work 97 three ball 90 driving dunk 88 speed ball 88 ball handle 90 speed 90 lateral quickness gold showtime shooting wise what more do you want again another card that i think is going to be a lot better on next gen you look at the next gen shooting badges here and there you guys do see it the hall of fame blinders and i can't overstate i know they had the blinders patch or whatever the case may be but still hall of fame blinders is something that is very very important especially because i'm i'm thinking on next gen steady shooter is super 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 expensive so definitely nice that ray does indeed have that hall of fame uh blinders hall of fame steady shooter on current gen isn't as bad as people make it out i still don't like the badge but it's not as bad as people make it out to be defensively pretty solid i will say playmaking you guys are gonna see it no unpluckable that hurts the card a ton if you're gonna run a 6-5 shooting guard at, at shooting guard that doesn't have unpluckable that hurts the card quite a bit and so that's the thing right ray allen's just going to sit there the pro to throw that throw that basically out the window without without him having unpluckable and so yeah he's just going to be one of the best sharpshooters in the game with that hall of fame blinder so if you want to if you like ray allen and want to run him just make sure you don't dribble the ball too much with him especially on current gen without that unpluckable next our next card today that we're going to talk about is pink diamond dale ellis here 22 hall of fame badges 29 on gold hot spots from literally everywhere around the three-point line as you guys can see the one thing i do like about dale ellis is he's six seven right you compare him to ray allen who is six five dale is six seven 97 three ball 85 driving dunk 87 speed ball 88 ball handle 88 speed 88 lateral quickness basically identical stats to ray allen is this they're basically identical cards up until the point where you get the hall of fame unplugged well that's the biggest difference that i'm noticing but like stat wise they're basically identical cards like they really are they're going to give you the same thing on the court the only difference is obviously dale ellis has the hall of fame unplugged but we can go as far as the six ray allen's base like we can go that far now obviously he doesn't have the pro two size up but he does have hall of fame unpluckable so if you're asking me which card i'm taking give me the give me dale ellis every day of every day of the week over ray allen and i honestly don't even think it's particularly close give me dale ellis every single time next card is pink diamond desmond mason and i correct me if i'm wrong i think he has a jr smith release yep jump shot 49 on quick so you know that going into it six seven shooting guard small forward six ten wingspan he should be something different than ray allen and dale ellis 24 out of fame badges 25 on gold hot spots from three out of five around the arc 84 three ball 98 driving dunk 93 speed ball 90 ball handle 94 speed acceleration 90 lateral quickness Hoff showtime you got to give him range extender if you want uh, but the playmaking hall of fame downhill handles for days quick first step space creator stop and go anti handles defensively chase the artist clamps hard crusher inter intimidator lightning reflexes and pogo sticks so the shooting that's where he's going to lack a little bit but still with the 84 three ball jr's smith's release decent enough hot spots and and the uh, uh, applicable shooting badges you should be just fine obviously jr's release pro three size of escape which is a bad pro three move behind the back next gen current gen that is a very very thing that's a that's a solid thing that gets overlooked pro three moving behind the back is obviously my favorite spot a lot you guys know desmond mason is going to be a complete opposite to De dale ellis and ray allen ray allen he is going to dunk on everybody next card here galaxy opal magic johnson 30 out of fame badges 29 on gold 6 9 7 foot wingspan 89 three ball for magic 90 driving before we go any further do you got the magic oh my goodness guys 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 oh my look so here's the deal here's the deal we get a magic johnson with a dribble style that's not magic johnson dribble style so we're gonna get our first magic johnson that is going to be able to move okay and that is a big thing guys that is a big thing because if you remember on current gen previously he would jog with the ball 
I don't know if you guys remember. He would literally jog with the ball. Now our Magic Johnson's not going to be able to just jog with it. He's going to be able to run, which is just crazy. 89 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 95 speed ball, 94 ball handle, 95 speed, 93 lateral quickness. Gold Showtime, you're killing me, 2K. Golden range extender, I like that. Decent enough shooting badges. Playmaking, couldn't ask for anything more than defensively hard crusher, intimidator, pick diver, test finner, trapper. I don't think there's any debating it, guys. Uh, this card is incredible. Tendencies, great tendencies. Six wise, magics on quick, pro two sides of escape, pro three movement behind the back. Current gen, next gen, give me Magic Johnson as the best point guard in the game. If this dribble style is indeed fixed, I truly do believe he is going to be the best point guard in the game. If you want to debate Luka Doncic, you can, but I just think with the dribble sigs and the pro three movement on the back that Magic Johnson is going to give you, as well as just being six foot nine, I just think that puts him one step higher. I truly, truly do. Now this Magic Johnson and this Magic Johnson are basically the same. 32 Hall of Famers compared to 30. So, I mean, maybe they won't be the same. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. Uh, see what the biggest differences are in between these two cards. So stat-wise, the same. Badge-wise, let's see. What, is, what are the badges he's missing? Pick and popper and pump fake Marshall, guys. Get the cheaper Magic Johnson if you're not going for the set. That's all I can really say. PG-13, 6'9", 6'11", wingspan, 27 gold badges, 29 on Hall of Fame, 94 three ball, 97 driving dunk, 91 speed ball, 94 ball handle, 94 speed acceleration, this was a 97 lateral quickness, Hall of Fame showtime, Hall of Fame range, flexible, Hall of Fame quick first step, space greater tight handles, gold unpluckable, that's the unpluckable badge I was looking for, defensively, Hall of Fame chase the artist, clamps, hard crusher, intimidator, lightning reflexes, pick dodger, pogo stick, and tireless defender. Wow. Tendencies. Wow. Six wise PG's release on quick pro two size up pro five move by the back. Guys, we're seeing a big change in 2K because I hate to say it, but Paul George is the best power forward small forward in the game. And I don't even think it's close. You can bait, debate LeBron, you can debate KD, but give me this Galaxy Opal Paul George that one step higher. Next, we do get Galaxy Opal Vince Carter. 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, hot spots from everywhere around the three point line. 26 gold badges, 30 on Hall of Fame. 95 three ball, 99 driving dunk, 90 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 95 speed, 94 acceleration, Hall of Fame shows I'm half range, flexible, no steady, half ankle breaker, downhill handles for today's quick first step, tight handles, unpluckable, Hall of Fame clips, intimidator, off ball pass, pick dodge, your pogo stick, and tireless defender, guys. These cards are just, I, 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 I don't know what you guys want me to say. I'm waiting for a bad card, but but I don't know if one's ever going to come. Good dribble six. I don't know if Vince Carter's ever had these dribble six. Like, I truly don't. I don't remember Vince ever. Ha he never has had these good enough dribble six. This is ridiculous. If you like Vince's release, if you like the Pink Diamond Vince, this Vince is absolutely incredible. Next card is Galaxy Opal MJ. The first thing we're going to do is compare this MJ to the other MJ. Just to see, is there a big difference right off the bat? And before even going over stats, I'm not going to go over. I'm just going to look briefly. Identical in stats, badge-wise. Let's see. What's the okay so here's the first one where we've noticed a difference right the big the, the first one where we've noticed a difference okay so this mj here is not going to give you hall of fame range this other mj has hall of fame range so that's a big difference and i'm not going to put that lightly that's a pretty big difference but i mean it, it's it is a big difference and i don't want to overstate that but it's not it's not a difference that in my opinion is worth 400 500 KMT, but he, this MJ does have a 94 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 96 three ball, 93 ball, and 98 speed acceleration, 99 lateral quickness. And I think it's safe to say either one of the MJs is going to be the best defensive on ball defender in the game. I would be willing to put up a lot of money that that's the case. You look at that, and then and then let's hop into the tendencies where you know MJ is going to be beating people up. Six wise MJ's release, pro two sides up, pro three moving behind the back. Whether it's this MJ or the other MJ, he is going to be the best primary shooting guard in the game. I will be, I will, I would take MJ over everybody else, and, and it's not even close. He's got 38 Hall of Fame badges. This MJ's got 39, including the Hall of Fame range. Now that is going to be the only difference between the MJs is the Hall of Fame range. But I think that difference is is enough to to if if you have, if you're a big baller man, do your thing, get the more expensive one. But for guys like me, I'd get one uh, now after 250K, I'd get one with just gold range. But that's the only difference between the MJs. So you guys are going to kind of have to decide which one's more worth it or not. Either way, Michael Jordan is going to be absolutely incredible. So the next card is Zion Williamson. Before we dive into it, let's see what the big difference with Zion is, right? Badge or stat wise is going to be the same. Badge wise, what's our big difference here? Hall of Fame range once again. So 
yes there are a there's a big difference between the zions and the mjs i don't want to overstate kind of how important that is because it, it is important especially for for guys like mj and zion who you're probably going to be shooting a lot of threes with but either way six 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 ten wingspan hot spots from everywhere let's just go over the stats 94 three ball 99 driving dunk, 94 speed ball 94 ball handle 96 speed 95 lateral quickness hall of fame showtime now obviously gold or hall of fame range depending on what the, which design you do get hall of fame downhill pass fake maestro post spin technician quick first step unpluckable Look at the defensive badges that they gave this Zion Williamson card. That is absolutely absurd. A day after we get Wes Unseld and, and or great spotlight players, we get guys like this. This is absolutely absurd. Great tendency, Sigs. Okay, I, I was not expecting that. Okay. I don't want to sit here and say the Kobe release is bad because it's not. The Kobe release is not bad at all, but I was not expecting this. I was expecting the Zion release. Now, the one thing about it is the fact that Kobe's release is still good. Do I wish Zion had his old release back? Probably. I, I still like Kobe's release, but it's just going to be weird seeing Zion not have that, what was it, release to 29 that I ultimately love. But Kobe release on, on quick is fine. It's a good release. Uh, it's going to be pretty knocked down. We we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how that how that looks on Zion. Pro two sides up obviously is incredible for Zion Williamson. Pro one moving by the back, moving crossover. No doubt about it. Zion Williamson is going to be the best card in the game. MJ, you're up there as well. Magic John. Here's the thing, guys. I don't want to overstate anything, but we're gonna see our best point guard. We're gonna see our best shooting guard. Shoot, if you want to make if you want to make Paul George a uh, best small forward, you can do that. Zion, our best power forward, like. This is absolutely absurd. The cards we got today, the, and it's not just top heavy. We got deep cards. You look at Sean Kemp. He's pretty incredible. Brent Berry, Quentin Richardson. Like, we've got cards for everybody. Even if you want Desmond Mason, Dale Ellis, they're going to be decently cheap today as well. This card set is just so, so deep. I love each and every one of them. Expect MJ and Zion to be super expensive, guys. Anybody else, I expect you to be able to get for a decent price. Are you guys excited about this content drop? Because I know I'm super, super excited, guys. Drop which card you guys are most excited to use. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.